Hey guys, welcome to my studio. I'm already all done making music for the day. It's a nice chilled Sunday, almost done with my new album. Most of the songs completed. And now it's about time to test them. Test them somewhere else on big speakers, get a professional opinion from probably the most epic studio in town. And since I know that you are as addicted as me to gear, I'll take you with me on a tour of that studio. So let's head over there and, and explore it. I'm actually so excited. The studio is called Tro, and it's one of the very few in the city that I've actually never visited. So all of that gear, everything is also absolutely new to me. And as far as I know, they were specialized in producing music for a lot of hip hop artists, German hip hop, gangster rap, rap artists. And they do advertisement a lot, like for spots, background music, and that kind of stuff. Hi. Hi. So these are some of the artists, Kollega. If you were living in Germany, you know who it is. So he, he was here recording or? Um, you did one of our producers these? did the, the uh, executive producing. And here is the first studio already. So you're working here? Um, I'm working in the other studio. This is our studio one. Um, we do, mostly we do music production here. What kind um, of music? Was it mostly German stuff also? Um, rap, hip hop? It's, uh, I, I would say 90% it's for, for commercial industry. Okay. So, um, advertisement. Yeah, advertising. Oh, okay. People can also rent this place or it's just for, for you nope. guys? Okay. It's this just, is yeah. all private. Yeah, it's, it's really, really, really nice. The other studio that I'm mostly working in is quite the opposite. It's all digital all in the box next room this is like recording yeah. vocal recording love it it's all <laughs> it's all acoustically treated right like yeah, all... yeah yeah this is the the whole um uh studio section it's like um studio one and two was was one big concept like a in, room in and a room. room and room yeah yes, okay. and okay. um yeah everything perfectly treated um every room has its, has its own uh delay yeah. time perfectly matched for the for the speaker system and okay. yeah they were built into the wall like soft yeah we have this, this this main monitors uh the genelex the big ones okay um, so those are the biggest you can actually buy right <laughs> yeah wow and they the whole studio is like the whole concept is um, also fitted to to this uh, speakers of course then we go with the the barefoots when you produce you use the smaller yeah, ones we use the, the barefoots uh, and also, the, the big ones is, yeah, for the really, really loud really cool with the um with the emulations oh, yeah, like right. you have uh, this um remote control which you can uh, choose the yeah re responses high fee uh, flat which is the normal then old school, which kind of emulate the NS10, yeah. or they should emulate the NS10. It sounds a little bit uh, different. We compared it side by side, and <laughs> it's a little bit different, but it's it's really good. Uh, also, the 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 smallest one, the Cube, which is like uh, uh, the the Aura tones. Yeah, the smaller um, speakers. They emulate it quite good. It's really really good, also for commercial because yeah, most of the time. Uh, yeah, people, people hear it in, like, in the radio or on the TV, and yes. they most of the people don't have like big uh, speaker <laughs> system in there. No, definitely not these Channel X. Let's do another room. I heard right. there are more. <laughs> That's your working space mostly. Yeah. That's also really nice. Studio two, uh, mostly sound design. Uh, audio production, audio post production. So we have a little booth there where we can. Uh, record voice talents. Yes. Also, we have uh, two uh, PC systems here. One which is dedicated for only um, doing like voice of IP recordings and um, conferences with clients. Really got to the point where we, we don't have much voice talents that really come here, okay. but um, voice talents that have uh, their, their home studios or are in a partner studio in another city or in, a, in our uh, 
uh, our Berlin studio okay, yes. and we just do the, the connections. Vocal editing, cutting, correcting. Exactly. And um, yeah, that's mostly better done within the box. Yeah. Like if you have more possibilities. We, we tried some, some, some analog stuff. Um, also stuff that is completely uh, recallable digitally, yeah. but um, it's, uh, yeah. It's probably not worth the effort. No, no <laughs> absolutely not. It's also really nice microphone setup. Which kind of mic is it? It's a Neumann TLM 103, I think. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, a we, nice we, mic. Uh, we reworked a long time, really long time with um, the Brauner yeah. VM1. Is it VM1? I don't know. Which got a little difficult because it was really harsh in the in the yeah. high high frequencies, which is problematic with uh, voice talents, some voice talents, because then we really got problems with the. Uh, with the S. Yeah, it's the harsh S sounds. But uh, it's nice, especially the monitor, so they can read the text yeah, yeah. of the monitor. It's, yeah, it's and we, we can also give them the videos, give them uh, okay. ADR takers so they exactly know where where they have yeah. to uh, start. Really like it. And all acoustically treated. It's probably by far the most important, like treating yeah, in the room yeah, the yeah. right way so that you nothing, hear what you're doing. Nothing comes comes in from the outside yeah. and the sound itself is not too too dry, but no, uh, no big uh, reverb in it. Is there more, more studios? Uh, yeah, we have one, uh, one little uh, like like project studio. Okay, should we go uh, there? Check yeah. it out. It's possible. It's cool. Nice. So in total, three studios. Yeah, two and a half. Two and a half. Okay, <laughs> let's see. And all of this right here is office space. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> yeah, you're uh, on a Sunday. There's. Not, yeah, not a lot of people, so but it's huge. How many people are working here? 25 to 30. 25, wow. But we have like But like many... most of them are doing office stuff. So there are other businesses included that also yeah, it's, deal it's, with it's, music. It's kind of a uh, full service um, okay. have, um, music uh, agency, music consulting for, for, for brands. Okay. Yeah, Sonic branding, of course. Then and we have... Uh, Voice talent agency. Okay. Uh, so so you manage the manage the voice talent people also. Yeah, everything that has to come together for. for okay. Uh, so you're full service. Full service. Everything agency yeah. for advertisement. Exactly. And this right here is like the big conference room. Yes, conference room yeah. Where you play the clients, what you did. Um, yeah, we have this uh, big five point one. Uh, nice. Okay, that's a full studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this is the, the the only studio that is not uh, room and room. Yeah. Um, we have some some treatment. The uh, the sound is not not too bad, but yeah, it's 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 a little bit different. It's more the studio is more rough, quick okay. and dirty, creative little yeah. workspace. That's um, really nice. You also got also some turntables. Yeah, that's like <laughs> the, the DJ setup. Yeah, <laughs> more or less. And two Mac Pros. Yeah, the good old ones. Yeah, I, I also that's, still have one of these. That's actually uh, the one from the old one from Studio Two, yeah. where we've been. We uh, we changed the setup there and went with a Mac Mini. It's the only let's, option. Let's see. The the new one is really expensive. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we should listen to some music. I really want to check out the Genelex. Okay. The big ones. <laughs> I, I got a little USB stick with okay. them. Okay. Would okay. be perfect. Amazing, amazing studio. I love these places. I love the gear and especially the sound. Listening to my songs on those speakers, it's hard to describe. It's hard to describe. You have to experience it yourself. Unfortunately, that studio, like you can't rent it. They, they're really, really busy. A lot of people working there. But if you're interested or you need any advertisement music, I'll link down below to their website. Just go check it out. For me, it's now 
back home just chilling relaxing tomorrow another vlog and if you're interested in more epic studio tours i made one a couple of months ago at martin forwick's studio which is quite different it's just geared towards electronic music and looks like star wars that's epic just go check it out link down below and at the end of this video